This is the story of my trip to one of the most remote places in the United States to harvest a duck in the middle of the Bering Sea in the middle of an Alaskan winter. Due to weather delays getting off the rig and then the availability of flights from Anchorage to St. Paul, I ended up being two days later than my brother John and Goody to make it out to the island to start to hunt. Uh, they were able to get out and do a fair amount of hunting before I got there. I arrived on January 19th and the end of season was the 22nd, so time was of the essence. Upon arrival, uh, we took a little tour around the island and then uh, stopped at the beer store and was able to pick up some very expensive beer. Oversleeping wasn't an issue because shooting hours didn't start until after 10 a.m., which gave us sufficient time to get offshore and get our decoys out and be ready. The weather broke after a few hours and that slowed up the shooting so uh, probably about 12.31 we headed into shore. Going in and out of the harbor we saw the Time Bandit, the Northwestern, and three or four other crab boats unloading their harvest. We also got to experience the beginning of the freeze up. Sounds like we're going down the highway. A little bit of Nice warm day here in St. Paul. After returning to the dock, we helped Jeff get the boat up out of the water, and then we took some time to get some photos of our harvest for the day. Jeff gave my one drake the nickname Lobezilla, and he said that was the uh, biggest lobe he's seen on a king eider this year. Goody and I were able to harvest a pair of gray gold squaws while we were out this morning. Don't worry, I got it on video.
as typical in Alaska, the uh, weather can come up pretty quick. And on the second day, the weather told us it was time to head back to shore. Uh, we were getting hail and seas were starting to pick up. When we got back to the apartment, we filled out our tags for our ducks for the day. And that evening, John and I went and hunted along the shoreline. That night, we were also treated to an excellent crab and steak dinner, which really hit the spot. Last day here on uh, St. Paul, this last day of cotton. There's going to be another two days till the next plane comes. I wasn't able to get on the plane yesterday, so we could do a little more hunting. So we're going out with the guys today. We're going to do a little shooting and see what we can get into. Jeff, Mo, and Mike of Alaska Fighter Outfitters did a great job of getting us our ducks. Um, John and Goody, being non-residents, were able to take four riders each, where in theory I could have shot 20, but I didn't need that many. I ended up with, I think, 18 sea ducks over the three days of hunting, so it was a very successful trip. St. Paul had one more surprise for me. My last night there, uh, we had a tsunami evacuation. I quickly grabbed some tomato soup, some toilet paper, and a little bottle of whiskey, and we headed up to the senior center or rec center. Uh, when we got up there, though, we found out it wasn't a factor, and we could go back to the lodge. Uh, and then the next morning, I uh, packed up my stuff and was able to fly back to Anchorage.